welcome to statics classes by civil thinking and today we are going to see another concept and the concept is force systems now before i move on i request to you to please watch the video lectures one by one so that you will understand better the video lectures are in the playlist the playlist link is in the description or also you can click here now coming to today's class force systems now the first question is what is a force system now you might have seen bodies right for example if you have a body like a cantilever beam like this okay this is a cantilever beam okay now this is a body okay now there are multiple forces for example acting on it for example let us say there is a point load of e1 acting at this point and another force is acting on this point let it be p2 and another force is acting on this point let it be p3 right now you have more than one force acting on this right you have one two and three forces that is more than one force acting okay now when there are more than one force acting on a body then all of these forces together all of these forces together they are called as system of forces okay or force system so this p1 p2 and p3 this is a force system okay force system okay now why we study force systems because we want to analyze a body subject to a force system so that we can design it better okay we want to analyze a body against failure so we have to study different force systems now this is one force system because all of these forces are parallel this is known as parallel force system and we will see more types of force systems okay so so in the nutshell force system this is the combination of more than one force acting on a body whose combined effect on the body is to be determined okay now let's go into the topic classification of force system now broader classification of force system okay now for the sake of analysis forces are generally classified as two dimensional let me change the color they are classified as two dimensional forces okay 2d forces or three dimensional forces okay now two dimensional forces they are also known as planar forces okay or coplanar forces okay now what is 2d force system when all the forces act on a body in a single plane okay then the system is known as 2d force system or coplanar force system what happens here all forces lie on the same plane same plane okay now 3d force system is when the forces exist in multiple planes in three dimensional okay they are also known as special forces okay special it is not that it is s p a t i a l special forces which means they are they exist in space okay like in 3d space now three dimensional forces are also called as non coplanar because they don't exist in the same plane okay now let me give you the example of 2d and 3d now let us talk about 2d force system basically 2d force system does not exist in real life okay all the force systems are 3d in real life but for the sake of analysis sometimes it is possible to convert a 3d force system into a 2d force system okay then we call it as 3d force system now when the 3d force system or the special force system it cannot be converted into a 2d force system then we call it as 3d force system okay now as you can see here 2d force systems they are further classified as collinear force system parallel force system concurrent force system and non parallel non concurrent force system now collinear force system is what for example you have a line of action let me draw a line like this okay now suppose this is the line of action okay this is the 
line of action now if you don't know about line of action please watch my video lecture on line of action and it is a really an easy concept line of action is the line along which the force is acting okay it is the direction of the force that is the line of action now when the collinear force system is what it is known as collinear when all the forces on a body or all the forces in the force system they lie on the same line of action then it is known as collinear force system for example let me say one force is like this f1 another force lie on the same line f2 then we have f3 it is also on the same line and so on since all the forces are on the same line of action okay then it is known as collinear force system okay it is known as collinear force system now parallel force system now when the forces are parallel i have already given you the example of cantilever in the beginning of this class for example you have a beam here now let's consider a simply supported beam okay let us say this is a simply supported beam okay now let's say force is acting here this is f1 and let us say another force is acting here it is f2 now due to these forces there will be support reactions let us say this will be support react let us say this is a and this is b okay let us say this is a y this is a y is the support reaction at a and b y b y is the support reaction at b b which is due to f1 and f2 right now if you can see here the line of action of all of these forces see this is the line of action of this force right a y now this is the line of action of this force f1 please excuse my handwriting it's assume it to be a straight line okay now the line of action of this force is like this and the line of action of this reaction force is like this right now since the line of action of all these forces they are parallel to each other right the line of action is parallel to each other or the forces are parallel to each other so we call it as parallel force system okay now let's come to the concurrent force system now what is concurrent force system now concurrent force system is when all the forces meet at a single point or the line of action of the forces intersect at a point okay for example let us say this is the floor okay and this is a wall okay let us say there is a ball here okay i'm sorry for my handwriting please assume it to be a spherical okay now let us say a force is acting here now this is the this ball right it is resting on this floor and it is resting against this wall right now what is going to happen there will be reactions on this ball right now the line of action of this force is like this right now there will be forces there will be reaction forces right this is the force which we have applied now this wall will uh, impose a reaction on it like this right basically it will be normal to the wall this is the reaction force from the wall and also there will be a reaction from the flow right now when you draw the line of action of all of these forces okay let me draw this is the line of action of this force and let me draw the line of action of this force right now all of these forces okay let me say this is p force this is for example x force and this is y force all of these the line of action of all of these forces they intersect at this point right because they intersect at a single point that's why this system is known as concurrent force system okay now let us go into another uh, another type of 2d force system non parallel non concurrent force system now in a body there may be 
random forces okay they may not be parallel to each other or they may not be concurrent the, i mean say they are in the random directions when the forces are in random direction on a body which are not parallel and which are also not concurrent then that system of forces all of those forces the system due to all of those forces is known as non parallel non concurrent force system okay so this is the classification of 2d force system similarly we have 3d force system 3d force system now 3d force systems are not generally classified uh, how we classify 2d force systems okay uh, because we don't need to classify 3d force system although you can say they are like you know parallel parallel force system or concurrent force system right or it can be non parallel non parallel non concurrent force system okay now parallel force system is for example you have a body here okay now if there are forces acting like this for example you know uh, you have a concrete raft here and there are columns at this point okay this is column one this is column two suppose this is column three and this is column four now you can see you can convert it like this let the weight of this be p1 p2 p3 p4 you can see this is a 3d4 system right now all of the these are parallel or the line of action is parallel so it is known as parallel force system similarly concurrent force system if you will assume here this in the 3d sense if you will consider a wall behind it okay i have considered a floor and the wall let us assume there is another wall behind it in the 3d then there will be reaction outwards okay and they will intersect at this point then it is known as concurrent 3d force system okay then again we have non parallel non concurrent which are random forces in acting in all the planes in the 3d space okay then that is 3d force system well this is not important the classification of this force okay what is important is this 2d force system classification okay because we analyze 2d force systems based on what type it is okay that's why this is important okay and in case of 3d force systems there is generally one rule to solve all of these problems or one or two rules okay so that's it in this class we found force system and types of force system or classification of force system again i am requesting you to please watch the video lectures in the playlist one by one for better understanding so i hope you understand everything so see you in the next class thank you